father will be waiting in camp. It's about time we talked. First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twisted beyond recognition. To think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city, to chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. God's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears rolls. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present. And Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mazura to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the Astral Prison, and the Emperor within. Will. Everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. All too right, my son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate, and I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fires so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most, and a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but... My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Alterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair, because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. A bronze dragon, yes. He sleeps beneath us even now, awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Ansur, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin He'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened, but just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now, the Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. The legend of Ansur. An ancient epic. Ill-remembered. Dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Baldur's Gate stands on the brink of the abyss. My father was clear. 
We awaken the worm and take back the city. Will, you are more valorous than Boulder and himself. May the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Ravengard. Pride of Baldur's Gate. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. I disappointed him once. I won't do it again. I do, and so does my father. Go on, read the legend of Ansur. Then we can plan our next steps. It's complicated. There's the joy of reconciliation, the relief of forgiveness, and the anxiety of new expectation. It's a flurry of emotion. I'm not sure how to make sense of it. Joy. To my father, I was only ever a boy. Incredible that he can see the man I became. Once all this is ended, once we've crushed the brain and freed the people, I could once more call Baldur's Gate home. Whether I return there, well, only time will tell.